What's going on guys? We're gonna be talking about something crazy today. Lady shot her boyfriend trying to get views. And this is applicable because of, well, this is applicable because as you guys know, I've been struggling. I've been trying real hard to get views and this is not the way to do it. So I just figured I'd make a quick three minute video seeing as I'm shooting a kind of more detailed video that I'll upload in a few days. I just wanna make a quick video for you guys. Now I know a lot of the people that watch my videos are YouTubers as well. So when my family member told me about this, I was like, what? I would have been like the first person to know because I'm a YouTuber. But I didn't hear about this in our community, what happened? The gist of it is this lady and her boyfriend were testing whether or not a phone book, a big old book, would be bulletproof. And uh, they tested it once. You know, they put the book out and they shot it um, and it stopped the bullet. It stopped it just as well. And so they figure, man, what a great opportunity. Clickbait, um, what an awesome opportunity to get views from this. And so, uh, I mean, you guys can guess what happened. You're smart people, you can guess exactly what happened. The, la the, the guy held out the book like this. The guy, he held out the book and the lady shot. And the book didn't stop it when it counted. It didn't stop it. Believe it or not, she killed her boyfriend. And now she's in prison. She's in jail for accidental manslaughter. And she was trying real hard to get views on YouTube. And uh, now she's getting views on the news and in jail. Uh, real quick, let's say hi to my friend. Hey, buddy. Hey. Yeah. What a good girl. Yes, you are. Oh, yeah. So basically, at this point, what is the lady... What's the lady gonna do? I really don't know. My question is whether or not this, this was premeditated. What if she was trying to off her boyfriend? And I know that's probably not true, but I wonder. I wonder if that might possibly be the case. Regardless, there is a limit to what you should do to get views on YouTube. And stupid, stupid things with guns is certainly crossing that limit. Now real quick, I'm also gonna mention something. A good friend of mine actually commented on one of my videos I was making, since this topic is relevant to me right now, of trying to get views, um, trying to push the YouTube thing, you know. He commented, and he was like, this video you made is, eh, like it's, it's okay. It's not that great, and uh, your other content is usually pretty original and good, um, but this isn't. One part of me doesn't know how to respond to that, but the other part of me knows. That, yes, that's true. It's not worth it to get views and lose your sense of originality and your purpose, the reason you started YouTube. So to you, I, I'm sincerely sorry. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to figure out, right now, this is what I'm thinking about. And this is, again, why I'm making the video. Is there any way that I can stick true to what I'm doing? You know, music, doing stuff with video. Is there any way I can stick true to that and still make a video that's going to go off of trends, um, maybe might be evergreen and just get searched the heck out of it, you know? If you guys have any ideas, please comment them down below. I mean, where I'm living right now, I have nature. Um, if you have any ideas with nature, I mean, maybe the goat could play the guitar, I don't know. <laughs> so anyways, that's, that's gonna be it. I want you guys to comment down below though. Uh, I'm guessing maybe 50 people might watch this, maybe. I'd love it if you'd comment down below an idea that you have. Do you have some sort of a way for me to just make a dope video out of, uh, out of the stuff I usually do? Anyways guys, that's gonna be it. I'll talk to you later. And peace. <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't know if that could be any more nerdy. I don't know. Peace.